These are Bridget Bardot's lips in 1956. These are her eyes, her famous derriere, her hair, her legs, her breasts. Just a few of the things that made her an international sex symbol over the course of three decades. Tu vois ça comme ça, toi? But what made Bardot different from other female sex symbols, say in 1932 or 2015? Was it her voice? Pas vrai. Tu peux pas me Don't say that. No. Don't be silly. We're talking serious. More specifically, her laugh. Maybe <laughs> bien. The way she danced. What about her infallible ability to set the fashion landscape ablaze with one outfit? When she put on a dress, it starts something. Her designer, Jacques Astaire, said in 1960, she reinvented the bikini, put the miniskirt on the map, probably had the most famous hair of all time, with the possible exception of Elvis, who wanted to date her. Either you marry me, or live with me in San. She made simple designs glamorous, duffel coats, loose jeans, t-shirts. There's even a top named after her. But evaluating her influence through the ubiquity of her fashion trends or the singularity of her physical assets misses the point. You're not an actress. What are you? A woman. Ah. We all wanted to be like Bardot because she confidently gave us sexuality without hypocrisy. Ça ne vous dit rien. And that effect was stronger than anything she ever wore or didn't wear. By being herself on screen and off, she never had to pretend to be anybody else. She does as she pleases, and that is what is disturbing. The male is an object to her. Regardez-moi mon ange. Just as she is to him. And that is what wounds masculine pride. Simone de Beauvoir wrote in 1958. Film critic Raymond Durnac called it the attitude of body. It's as if by overwhelming the public and the press with that attitude, she took ownership of her image in a way no woman had before her. Once accessories became a part of that image, of course we all followed suit. But without the attitude, Bridget may have just been another sex symbol. I am the only battle, and my species is unique. Many other girls will have fantastic careers after me. Some will have a lot more talent, but none of them will ever be battle. Vive Bebe. Vive Bebe.